Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Russ Resnick. Russ is the Worldwide Segment Manager for Think System Servers. Russ, how are you doing? Pretty good, David. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. So today we are filming at a special location. Russ, where are we? So David, we're at the Lenovo Center here in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is a preeminent sports entertainment complex and it's home to the NHL Carolina Hurricanes and the North Carolina State university basketball team. Yeah, and that's why we're wearing the Hurricane sweatshirts, that's right? That's right, go yeah. Kings. Yeah, right on. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about the Think System SR650A V4. So this is uh, a, a very similar, in fact, similar design to the SR650 V4. This is the SR650A. What does the A stand for? So the A stands for analytics or accelerators. Right, okay. And uh, this server is pretty much identical to the SR650 V4, except for the front of the server. Okay, what, what, what's, what's, all the, what's going on on the front? So on the front of the server, we support four double wide, passively cooled GPUs. Right, so this is a GPU rich configurator, That's configuration, a, right? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, so this has more GPU support than than the regular SR650A. The, Pseudo, the regular, so the regular 650. 650. Yes. Uh, suitable for customers that look to maximize their GPU capability. That's right. Right, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so there's a, as well as the GPU functionality, there's a lot of actually, there's a lot of new design features in the V4 systems. Um, this, this system included, and that includes things like support for E3.S drives, new hot swap M.2. Um, we've got uh, new support for um, high speed memory MR DIMMs supported in these systems. That's right. Um, and there's uh, water cooling as well. Yes. We, we have support for CPU uh, coo uh, liquid, uh, liquid cooling with an open loop. With an open loop, yeah. Right. So we'll get through all, some, through all the details of those in a second, but that's a quick summary of, mm -hmm. of the features. So we're gonna go through the front of the server and then look at the rear of the server and then look at the internals. Now, some of the things we're gonna skip over um, or just describe briefly, because a lot of the detail is the same as the SR650. That's right. So do check out that video as mm -hmm. well, the SR650 V4, to learn more about the internals and how the two are compared together. That's right. right. All right, so at the front of the server, as Russ mentioned, there are slots at the front. So you can see there's four slots on this side and four slots on this side, and they're designed to support a um, total of four double wide GPUs, such as the NVIDIA H100. That's right. Example, right? Um, um, it also supports eight um, single wide GPUs as well, but really the design, the, the main benefit is, is the four double, is wide, four GPUs. double wide GPUs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, also, the, at the front, you can see in this configuration here, we have eight, um, eight and a half inch, sorry, eight, two and, two and a half, half inch, inch uh, hot, uh, hot swap drives. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, the server also supports um, E3.S1T storage. That's so this right. This is a new form factor for Think System. Mm -hmm. Um, and it supports four of those if you wish, or you can do two E3.S drives at the front here, along with two hot swap M.2. That's right. Now, we've, we've previously supported um, M.2 internally. Why would you want to have hot swap M.2? So uh, the, these M.2 drives are typically, typically used for OS boot drives. So by having them in the front or the rear as hot swap, customers who need to swap a drive, don't need to take the server down or open the server up, they can just go to the front or the rear of the server and right. swap the drive. So improved uptime, reliability. Reliability, serviceability. All that mm -hmm. stuff, yeah, good, 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 yeah. Right, so um, that's the main components of the front. You can see on the side there, there's um, the, uh, the usual uh, buttons and LEDs, power, ID, other, other LEDs are there. There's also a port there for the um, uh, diagnostics handset. That's right. Um, for local management of, of the system. Um, optionally on this side, this server doesn't have it, but optionally you can also have uh, on this side uh, two USB ports and a mini D, mini display port, video port for local uh, local management. That's right. Um, so th that's an option for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, also there in the front here is a uh, is a, a little pull out label um, that's for the MAC address and IP address of the remote management mm -hmm. uh, Ethernet port at the back of the server. So that's all the components at the front. 
Let's spin it around, Russ, and talk about what's in the back. So if you've looked at the SR650 video already, the SR650 V4, you'll see it's very similar. Um, this design with the SR650A uh, is going to support six uh, full height slots. That's right. These are all PCI Gen 5. That's right. Um, because this, the Xeon 6 processor that this server is based on mm -hmm. um, is PCI Gen 5. Right. And yeah. this uses the same riser scheme that the 650 uh, V4 uses yep. with the pay-as-you-go riser slot. Right. Yes. Yes. So it's a nice modular design um, mm -hmm. to to only to allows you to only buy the slots you need. That's right. At the time, and I'll grade them later if you if you wish if you mm -hmm. then wish to add mm -hmm. them later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the the spaces that are here on the side here, um, in a in, this is a pre-production model. Um, this these are blanks. Um, the 650 supports additional slots here, but this server, because of the GPU, uh, the GPUs at the front and the lanes that are required there, there are no, are no PCI slots um, on the front uh, on the rear left and right mm -hmm. sides. That's right. Just the six slots in the middle. There. Mm -hmm. Now the server does also support two OCP. Slots. So those are these holes at the very bottom here. You can see at the back. Uh, those are for additional adapters, OCP adapters, up to 400 gigabit Ethernet. We're offering in this server. Um, so that's for additional networking on top of the six slots right. that are available there too. Yeah. Um, now, so in addition to that, you can see that there is a, a VGA port at the back there. There's two USB three uh, ports, and then there's a, an Ethernet port. That's the remote management uh, uh, Ethernet port. Um, and that's standard on the system. Now the server also supports a second redundant um, Ethernet port for remote management. Right? That's right. We have customers who want redundant management networks, so we have an adapt an OCP adapter that right. supports that. We also have customers who want to consolidate their management ports. Okay. So we have the four to one uh, consol the consolidation adapter. Uh, right. The management yes. consolidate the consolidation adapter that fits in an OCP slot right. as well. So for customers who want to minimize the number of switch ports that they are using for management, um, they can have just one network connection coming into one server and then use this consolidation adapter to route those connections to three other servers. That's right. So it's a four to one consolidation. Mm -hmm. So a variety of choices for remote management access into the server. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much the back of this. I should say there's also there's two um, invisible power supplies. So these cages hold the two power supplies. These are, of course, are, uh, would be included in your server, in your production level system. Uh, a variety of, of wattages, up yes. to 3,200 watts for this system, I think is the upper limit for the right. for the power supplies. These are hot swap redundant CRPS power, uh, power, CRPS power supplies mm -hmm. um, that are available for the server. Right, so that's the back. Now let's look at the, the, the describe some more of the, of the internals. Um, the the processors themselves are not included in this pre-production model, but the, the server supports two um, Intel Xeon 6 processors that's right. with the new performance cores, P cores. Mm -hmm. That's the, the Intel Xeon 6700P or the 6500P. That's right. Um, are available options. Mm -hmm. um, the server has space for 32 DIMMs, so up to eight terabytes of memory. That's right. Uh, is available, and that includes the new MR DIMMs, right? That's right. So, what are what are MR DIMMs here? Those are uh, higher performance uh, DIMMs running at eight thousand uh, megahertz mm -hmm. that allow for higher memory bandwidth. For these okay, systems. right. Yes. So, those are an option as well as well mm -hmm. as R DIMMs and three DSR DIMMs right. that we we offer as standard anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the the processors themselves uh, in uh, there are a variety of of cooling mechanisms available on the server. The standard method of cooling is uh, performance heat sink, yes. which is air-cooled, uh, traditional server for this sort. But we also offer this system open loop liquid cooling. So the idea is that we have, that there will be hoses that come from outside connected to your um, liquid distribution system, your coolant distribution system mm -hmm. um, in your data center. And that would route uh, cool water in, and that would, um, be connected via cold plates to the processors. Right. And now, Russ, why would you do that? Why would you want liquid cooling of the processors? So it'll make the system cooling more efficient, which allows you to perhaps put more compute power in a rack if it's uh, power limited. It also uh, reduces the power that the server needs because with the open loop liquid cooling, the fans can run slower. Right. And, less uh, noise too. And, and less noise and use less power. Yeah. 
-hmm. So those are the, the different uh, cooling choices for the SR650A V3. Yeah. Now, the V4. The, uh, SR650A V4. Oh, Good yes. call. Yes, yes, yes. Getting my numbers mixed up. Yeah. Right. So, so that's the CPUs and processor. Now, the server also has, uh, as you'd expect for Think System, a robust management system. Um, the, the V4 systems are based on the XCC3 or X Clarity Controller 3. That's right. Russ, what's that? So the X Clarity Controller 3, uh, the firmware is based on OpenBMC and the UEFI is based on OpenEDK. So what that means is for these V4 servers, uh, all the firmware is open source. And what's the benefit of that? So by using open source software, uh, open source firmware rather, uh, we can. Uh, we know that others in the industry have validated code and tested the code uh, for security issues, and so we feel more confident in the robustness of the code. It's a, it's a good security story. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there are benefits to that. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Right. So that's that's I think about it for this server. Um, do check out the SR650 V4 video as well to learn more about the internals of the system. Um, as I said. Uh, this SR650A is very similar to the SR650. Yes. So consider them as, as a good comparison. Um, I think that's about it, Russ. Yep. Um, so this is the SR650A V4, 2U, two socket server with support for eight double wide GPUs. Now, Russ. Four we, double wide GPUs. Four double wide GPUs. Okay. Yes. Or eight single wide. Or eight single wide. Yeah. There you go. Passively yes. cool. <laughs> yes. So we normally film, film these videos right. at the executive briefing center right. in our offices offices in, in North Carolina. That's right. Why are we not here? Why are we not there? Well, the the executive briefing center is closed for renovation, so it's we expect it to open sometime in the spring. So right. we invite you to work with your Lenovo seller and if you want a briefing to come in and you can talk to uh, us and the uh, you can even uh, talk to the developers, tour the right. labs, understand right. what we're doing and why we're doing it. And so we invite you to uh, yeah, we, we, stop in. We have development labs here in, in, in our Morrisville offices. So, so we encourage you to come and visit us That's and right. uh, learn about the latest products from Lenovo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Russ, thanks very much. Thanks. Hope you found the video useful and we'll see you later. All right, bye.